creating a reusable countdown component in Vue.js using Daisy UI. Really easy to do. Go to the Daisy UI website, find a countdown component that you like the look of. We'll just do this one here. Copy the HTML code. Go to your Vue.js project. I'm doing this in Nux, but you can do it in any Vue.js project. Create a new component called countdown. Have your template tags. Paste the code in. And we're just going to replace this number here for a prop. So add a code on there. We'll call the prop counter. And then we're going to add our setup script down here. We can say const props equals define props counter. And it's going to be a number. Save that. Go to our index. And we're just going to include that component here. I'm doing it in Nux, so I don't need to import it down below, but you will need to import it if you're using just normal Vue.js. And then we're going to create a little unmounted hook here. Again, if you're using Vue.js, you will need to import the things I'm going to use. So you're going to need to import unmounted and you're going to need to import ref. Up here, we're going to create our counter. We're going to call it. We're going to say equals ref. We'll start it at 60. So this is what we're going to change. We're going to do a little function in here. We're going to say set interval. And we're going to set this the interval to every one second. So 1000 milliseconds. So every 1000 milliseconds, we want to minus one from this counter. So what we're going to do is create the logic for that. And we're also going to say if counter dot value is greater than zero. That's the only time we want to keep minusing one because we don't really want to go into negative numbers. You might want to, but I don't want to in this situation. So we're going to say counter dot value equals counter dot value minus one. And then what we're going to do as well is we're going to create a little computed property down here. We're going to call it computed counter equals computed. And we're just going to return the value of counter. And this is the prop we're going to pass. So we're going to go equals computed counter. Save that, and we should see our counter here. Counting down, perfect, it's worked. So that is how you create a reusable counter component in Vue.js using Daisy UI.